Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Mallory May and I'm an entrepreneur. I am documenting my journey from working 40 hours a week in a cubicle to self-employment. Right now, I'm at the 40, week, 40 hours a week in a cubicle part. So I'm glad you're here. This is the very beginning of something really big and really special, so welcome. Um, today, I am here to talk about why I chose to shut down a completely profitable and successful bakery business I once owned. So let's start at the beginning. In 2016, I opened up Mallory's Mighty Macarons. I love to bake. Um, as you might know, I'm a food blogger. That's my business. And I wanted to share these really special gourmet treats with the people in my community. Um, nobody was doing anything like this at the time. Uh, macarons weren't super, like they weren't trendy, like quite yet. And um, so immediately I was making money, immediately. And I wasn't actually consistently profitable for about eight months because any money I made went straight back into the business, right? Um, it was legitimate, rented out of my house. I was licensed by the Utah Department of Food and Agriculture and it's called a cottage bakery. I paid all the fees, I had all the equipment and um, I was making really, really good macarons and the market responded. I had plenty of wedding orders, I had lots of party orders, I had multiple repeat customers, and every month I sold a set of flavors of the month. So why, after two years of making money, why would I shut something like that down? So there's three main reasons. The first being opportunity cost. So you may or may not have heard this term. The easiest way to explain it is anytime you utilize a resource, whether it is money or time, you are eliminating the ability to use that resource on something else. So the opportunity cost of one hour at the gym is costing you one hour with your family or vice versa, right? And so life is a series of opportunity costs that we need to choose from. You know, what is going to pay off the most for me in the end? What is most important? And you know, another simple way to put this is prioritizing, right? Because we only have a certain amount of hours in the day. We only have a certain amount of years in our lives. So what I discovered after maybe about a year and a couple months was that I wasn't getting paid enough. My, my profit margin was not large enough for the cost to be worth it anymore. Because at first I started it as a, well, let's see what happens. Then I became highly invested in it and spent probably 25 hours a week doing it. But the profit margin was so low, it was nowhere near what I like to call mortgage money. Real money, real income that can support you. Not a side hustle, none of that, real money. And I realized, I would be better off spending this time with my family. I would be better off spending this time at the gym. I would be better off spending this time, extra time working overtime at my job to get paid more or to be working towards a promotion, right? That's gonna pay me more than this business will. So that brings me into my second reason for shutting down shop. And that is I hit a point where I needed to either choose to scale my business larger or I needed to jump ship. So, um, I was warned about this by a family member of mine who's a great mentor. He's a very, very successful entrepreneur, and I'm hoping to have him on for an interview here pretty soon. So get excited for that. But he had warned me from the beginning. He said, Mallory, lots of people make great food. Lots of people can sell it, right? That's how a lot of these people started. Famous Amos, you know, all of these companies. He said that most of them started at a home kitchen. He said, however, the problem you will have is scaling your business. And I hit a point where I was getting so many orders, I was turning them down left and right. If I wanted to continue, if I wanted to make that mortgage money, I needed to rent a commercial space. I needed to hire at least two assistants to help me. I needed to, which you know came with all these other costs like um, a higher overhead cost, insurance costs, and taking on more orders, more time on my end because now I have to be running an actual brick and mortar business. And that would have meant me quitting my job for at least a year, at least to get this thing off the ground. And A, we weren't financially ready to do that, um, to lose in a, a solid income and B, this brings me to my third point. I didn't want to. I had lost interest in building this business long term, even though there was very, very promising profit there. I actually had somebody offer to invest in my business, but again, I didn't want to accept that money because I'd lost the interest. I didn't want to grind away for 60, 70 hours a week on this macaron business anymore. Um, just because I made money doesn't mean that it was it was the right thing for me to pursue. I learned so much. I am so glad I did it. But in the end, closing it down was the best decision for me because again, it, the profit margin wasn't there. I didn't want to do what it takes to get the profit margin to the next level because it ultimately wasn't my end goal in life to be a macaron baker. So 
you know, there you have it. There's my three reasons why I shut down a profitable business and why, in my opinion, all profit is not good profit. You know, we need to, um, as entrepreneurs, we need to take all things into account, not just bottom lines and not just how things appear on the outside. When you say I run a profitable business, that can mean a lot of things, right? You can make a dollar, one dollar to the United States government. You still own taxes. It's still profit. So, you know, let's not be fooled by by what our businesses look like on the outside or how we present them. And let's not be intimidated by other people who, you know, tell us about their profitable startups because at the end of the day, these things are variable and they take a lot of time and you can twist it any way you like, but if you aren't okay with the cost of the opportunity, if you aren't okay with the risk and the investment it takes to scale, and if you aren't really, really passionate, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. So thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment below if you have any, if you've ever experienced anything like this or if you have any questions, you know, like I say, I'm not a guru, I'm not an expert, but I'm just here to share what I've learned with you. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe.